and slamming. Oh! Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Dot Slamming. I'm your host, Joey Souza, and today we're in Springfield, Pennsylvania at the Springfield Mall. Do you recognize the colors behind me? If you're a fan of The Simpsons, you might. Looks like most tavern, doesn't it? That's because it is. Today we're gonna meet Joe and Jeff, two proprietors who are in the Moe's pop-up tavern business. Uh, we're gonna talk to them, try some food, and find out how they got involved in this business. But first, we're gonna have a little fun. Most Tavern, where the elite meet to drink. Hello? Hey, I'm looking for uh, Al... Alcoholic? Is he there? Hold on, I'll check. Hey, is there an Al here? Come on, guys, I need an alcoholic. <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm looking for an alcoholic. Is there an alcoholic here? <laughs> mm. Listen to me, you little punk. When I find out who you are, I'm gonna carve on your back with an ice pick. So I actually run a nonprofit for kids um, in K through 12 doing STEM, building robots, learning engineering, uh, CAD design. Um, so we were actually looking for some ways to fundraise for that program. And we had some plans for a sci-fi concept coming here. Um, we were gonna do it in the mall, you know, kind of like a Comic-Con, but bring people to the mall basically, charge for certain things to raise money. And uh, the pandemic hit, squashed that right away. So we ended up Two, situ you know, two situations facing us. One was our enrollment dropped drastically, and two was we couldn't do that anymore. So we started looking for other ideas. We kind of thought, well, if we make it a business, we don't need that support of all those families that we lost. Um, but we can still give back. We can still contribute. So we developed and changed it. We created something called Galaxy Burger, which is my original concept. And it basically is about bringing people back to malls. Um, helping the stores within the malls, people that were affected by the pandemic, and also fundraising. So we started here with uh, Galaxy Burger, which is a sci-fi concept. Incorporating food into it, make it a family event, come out, spend a day. A little bit less commitment than a Comic-Con. You know, as opposed to a day or a weekend, traveling, all that stuff, you hit the mall, you spend a couple hours, you get food with the family, you go to see some cool sci-fi stuff. So what, I mean, uh, I'm somebody walking into a Galaxy Burger for the first time, what kind of experience am I, am I going to be having? Um, so your initial one is you're going to walk into a restaurant that kind of feels like, uh, you know, an Applebee's or a Planet Hollywood, where you've got lots of props, lots of things, some mostly fan created, but some screen used stuff. Cool. Um, so you're going to have lots to look at. You're going to get a meal. It's pre-ordered with your ticket. So you know, you've got burgers or fries, um, milkshakes, that kind of stuff. But you sit, you enjoy your meal, lots to look at, take pictures. When you're done that, your adventure begins. So um, we did one in this mall. We had six different locations. So you do the part where you eat and you, you visit that restaurant, but then you go out and you explore. Each one's got different things. Like we have a one-one scale Millennium Falcon cockpit. You climb inside, all lights up, great pictures, just fun, you know, but it's local. So it's, it's easier to attain, get there. You know, it doesn't take the whole weekend. It doesn't take a week. Come see it, you know, just have some fun. So kind of came out of that. We were looking for some other options. And uh, we kind of explored some things that people were asking about. Could you do this? Could you do that? And uh, a lot of requests came in for Moe's. We started looking at Moe's, and you know, this is kind of where we ended up. So after Galaxy Burger, was it Moe's, or uh, have you been doing uh, uh, different anything, any other pop-ups? So we actually did uh, McDowell's okay. over in Cherry Hill back in, um, I guess, April of this year. Again, just, you know, we got some requests for it. The movie was coming out, people were having a good time going, hey, you, you did this, can you do that? So we thought, well, you know, we'll explore some options. Okay. And uh, we looked at that and 
We just put up a Facebook page one day. Never said we were doing it, never said anything. And people started to respond. Where are you coming? Will you come here? Will you come to Chicago? Will you come to Florida? So we were like, ah, oh, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, you know, stay close to home, but we'll do one. And, and that was our second venture outside of, of Galaxy Burger. So, on this show, I know you're familiar with Dad Slamming. You know that when I show up, I like to eat. Yep. I know in The Simpsons, I don't believe Mo served food at the tavern. But here, because it is a family-friendly environment and you want to welcome these families in for a, a nice experience, you got to serve some food. That was actually a hard one at this time. Um, you know, McDowell's, the menu's the menu, right? It's mm -hmm. things you'd expect. You know, it's a parody of McDonald's. So it's kind of common sense, right? It's given. Here, we, we did explore the show. We, we've, I've watched so much Simpsons in the last, you know, three months. Um, you, you know, but we did explore that. We went through, we looked all sorts of aspects of it and what food there was. Problem is most of the food's kind of weird food. You know, again, everything's a parody in The Simpsons, right? Um, so we, we kind of were, were looking at things that we could do and, and there wasn't much that we thought would be appealing. So we really just kind of named them after the characters and the things in the, in the show and, and put a, a bar spin on it, you know? Okay. They're, they're cool. meal-sized portions, but they're really kind of appetizer-themed. So we have some, you know, good stuff, you know, great portions of, of a really nice chicken tender. You know, Marge's Hot and Spicy Chicken Tenders is a good one. Nice. Um, we have Homer's Basic Chicken chicken Tenders, but, you know, a okay. little bit of spice for Marge, right? Yeah, okay. So we got uh, Carl's Loaded Chips, you know, nice. a queso, um, some peppers on top, some diced tomato, just a good beer and bar atmosphere yeah, food. Good. You know, so we got stuffed mushrooms. Um, you know, some other good stuff on there. So I, I looked on your website and I noticed that you guys had this milkshake that, <laughs> it looked intimidating, I think is a good word. Tell me a little bit about that milkshake. So we like to call them extreme desserts. Okay. Um, we try to do one at each pop-up, different theme, different, you know, kind of draw. Um, this one, obviously, you gotta have donuts. So we've got a, a what we're calling a drunken donut shake. It is non-alcoholic, kids can have it too, but it's the Drunken Donut Shake. Comes in a mug. Um, you don't get to keep the mug, but it comes on a plate. Where you get to keep the plate, custom printed Drunken Donuts. Um, so you get a souvenir out of it. Uh, but it's a 16 ounce shake, two donuts, one stacked, one hanging off the side. Um, you know, chocolate dipped pretzel rods, uh, chocolate coated marshmallows. Just about everything we can put in there. That's fun, great to eat, filling. You know, and, and that overwhelming, awesome appearance of, wow, I got yeah. this, you know? Doing the pop-ups is a completely different experience as a, as a job, like being able to bring something that's not real and create it and then let people come to enjoy that thing. It's a very cool experience just to, to be a part of that. It's very special. I mean, if I was a kid, if I was a kid and something like this popped up and my parents took me to it, I would have lost my mind. Like I, I feel like the experience itself is like going to a theme park in a way because the way we, especially the way we built this out to be fully immersive, where you, from the outside, you walk in and feel like you're walking into a cartoon almost. 
Oh, that's your shot. So Joe had mentioned something about um, giving you, that you were brought on to kind of be a crucial part of this company in its expansion. You know, you're gonna be given a, a lot of responsibilities and things like that. How do you feel about that? Have you, do you think you're, you're ready to tackle on that, uh, that responsibility? Really, it's gonna have the responsibility of controlling everything on site at the pop-up when they're not, when Joe's not available or there. So I would be the person in charge and conducting everything um, between relationships to the businesses that we're working with, um, managing the employees that are running it, setting schedules, uh, making sure everything gets done, everything you would do in a normal business as a, as a general manager. Um, like when do you know that a mall is gonna get a pop-up? And, and how far ahead of time can you announce to you know, the crowd, the people, that hey, this is coming, you can come here and check it out on this day? and so on and so forth. How, how much of a window do your clients get? Like knowing like, oh, this is coming in a month or two months, this will be here, we can go to this. Um, it usually has to do with what space is available in different malls and what we can find and work with. So it's, it's hard to say exactly what kind of time frame. Usually it's, it's I mean, because we, we have to have time to do all the logistics of getting sets there, props there, setting it up. So. I would think usually there'd be at least a month leeway before people would know. You going for that green? Yeah, see if I can get in the side over there. Not at all. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, as you can see here, I'm joined by Radioactive Man. Uh, and we're gonna sit here and eat some awesome food. As you can see in front of me, we have several, several different choices, several different options. Right here, uh, the first one is Marge's a Spicy Hot uh, Chicken. Uh, the Marge, uh, if you order the Marge, you get it with a little, it's a little spicier than the regular Homer. Uh, wings. So we have the spicy wings and the regular wings. We got the Marge and Homer. For the appetizers, we've got some mozzarella sticks and some nice marinara sauce. I can't wait to dive into those. Those are my favorite. Back here, we've got some stuffed mushrooms, which are one of my favorites, and I cannot wait to dive into those bad boys. And then over here, we've got some grilled chicken. So I'm, this food's been sitting in front of me for a few minutes now and I'm, I'm starving. So we're gonna jump right in. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the stuffed mushrooms first. So one bite, this bad boy. Soft as a mushroom is. I have no idea what's inside that. What's inside that? Oh my God, none of the guys are here. What is inside that? I, okay, so I'm tasting, when you first bite into the mushroom and it breaks apart and the stuffing inside comes out, it's very tangy. I'm tasting garlic in there for sure, but it's very flavorful. It's, it, it's, it's just kind of like, Blows up. That, that sauce right there, that, it's very tangy. It 
The sauce is creamy. The texture that I'm feeling is from the breadcrumbs, I think. What are these little pieces of meat? What are these little pieces of meat that I'm tasting here? Sausages. Sausages. There's, it's a, so it's a creamy sauce, and then inside there's these little chopped up pieces of sausage that are in there, and that's what's adding that tanginess that I picked up on earlier. And then there's like this crunchiness to it, because this, this, this top portion on here, they baked it in the oven just right, so the top layer is like a little crunchy. And then the, the undercarriage is a soft mushroom texture. And then when you bite into those two, it exposes the interior, which is this tangy, creamy sauce mixed with uh, sausage. It's a sausage sauce. It's a sausage sauce. Delicious. I would eat these last two, but you know what? I need to save room because you know how we do here. We gotta. We gotta run the gauntlet. We just had the stuffed mushrooms. Very tasty, very tangy, very flavorful. Sauce, very creamy. And the sausage inside of that, it's a nice little addition that gives the tail end of that particular dish a nice little spin. And before we move on to the next, I'm gonna wash that down with a custom brew made by Evil Genius. Um, as you can see, I've already cheated. I know I'm supposed to wait till you guys see me before I consume any of this stuff, but I'm human. I'm only human after all. What I can say is that beer is delicious. You're not gonna see my reaction trying that. So if you wanna see a reaction, you come here, you drink one, and you stare yourself in the mirror as you drink it, and then you'll see a reaction to it. On to the next. Since we're doing Appetizers here. We're gonna go on to the next appetizer. Now, these mozzarella sticks are interesting because usually, usually a mozzarella stick is round. I've never seen a flat one before. That is quite interesting. Oh, you want some cheese action? I get you the cheese action. Fantastic. I see some big onions. I see some big old onions in this marinara sauce. I can already tell this is gonna have a ton of flavor in it. Can't have marinara, I can't have mozzarella sticks without marinara sauce. Sauce is flavorful. That's for sure. There's a lot going on in here. I see a lot of stuff floating around. I see some garlic, some tomatoes. Tomato paste, onions. I do see a lot of garlic in here, which I do love. Big fan of garlic. Now the mozzarella stick itself, obviously inside you've got mozzarella. But the breading around this is very interesting. It's not as thick as your typical breading would be on a mozzarella stick. It's a little thinner, so you get more cheese, which is interesting, because I've never had a mozzarella stick like this, and it's flat. So I feel like this, this particular style of it maximizes cheese volume, because the breading around it is thinner, and it's flat, so you can add a, more cheese in your mozzarella stick. More cheese, more sauce. Can't go wrong, this is a great appetizer. 
and they give you a generous amount. You get six of these mozzarella sticks. Perfect appetizer for two people on a date. I like this. And the sauce is delicious. Very light. It doesn't feel heavy at all. And the flavors, all the ingredients in there are very fresh. And everything molds with each other exceptionally well. I really like this. Mozzarella sticks, that's slamming. Okay, the chicken. Nice outer shell. And the chicken's juicy on the inside. And this is gonna be good. Add some honey mustard. I always loved honey mustard because of the the the, the differences between the sweet and the sour, you know? And I just love how they complement one another. They're so different, yet they go to they go together so well. I love honey mustard. This chicken is delicious. It's tender. It's got a very nice color on the inside. And when you squeeze it, you can see that it's very juicy. And that outer, outer shell is so crunchy. The seasoning on the chicken is very flavorful. At first it kinda, kinda hits you and then it slowly just kinda dies down. I'm expecting more of a kick from the spicy marge wings. This is really good. Let me try the barbecue sauce. I just heard somebody say, don't, outside in the, uh, in the mall. Mmm. I love barbecue sauce for its tanginess, and that's probably one of the most tangiest barbecue sauces I've ever had. That is delicious. It kicks like a mule. Mmm. That is very good. Mmm. Forgot to dip that in off. In the buffalo sauce. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna put the shark, the shark tooth in there. Oh my. Mm. That buffalo sauce, it, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. If you're into spicy stuff, which I'm not too crazy about, but I don't hate. I don't completely like exclude it. That is a very flavorful sauce with a good, strong kick. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff with your wings, I definitely recommend the buffalo sauce to accompany them with. Now we're gonna move the homers to the side here. And we're gonna keep moving along. Let's see, which one should we do first? Let's go with grilled chicken. The meat looks super tender. Nice color on it. I love the grill lines. A little bit of charring on some of these other pieces, which, you know, you're not gonna get any complaints from me. I love, I love stuff that's charred and 
you know, has that extra like crispy. Crispiness to it on the outside, I love it. All right, so we're going in with the buffalo sauce. I'm gonna send this one. Oh, wow. Oh, the grill that they made this on. Oh, this is great. It's got a very, um. I feel like they made it on a charcoal grill because it has a charcoal barbecue chicken flavor to it. Almost like, you know, I'm at a family's uh, a picnic, you know, over, this, over their house for a barbecue. And you know, uh, you know, Uncle Jack's got a chicken on the grill, you know? Really good, delicious. I saved the best for last. Hot Marge. Ooh -wee. I don't know how you feel about uh you know three foot tall blue haired blue haired uh styles but I'll try anything once. I can see the spices on here. Right here on top. Look at that. There is so much flavor just waiting for me. All right. Take this piece off because I want, I want my first bite to be all that. And we're going to do the sauce in a little bit. I want the first bite to be. Very, very similar to these, as far as the, you know, even the inside. So they share similarities, obviously. But I will say that the spice that they added to it, I like that little kick that it gives you. It's not too spicy. It's not too spicy. So if you're, if you're a fan of, of really spicy food, you're gonna wanna order these and then dump it in the buffalo sauce, just like this. Let's see, let's see how this, how this goes. Mmm. So much flavor. Delicious. Special thanks to Joe and Jeff for letting us come by today and hang out with them. They were super awesome and the work they did here was amazing. It's impressive. I can't wait for this place to open up. And remember guys, for all future episodes of Dad Slammin', be sure to tell all your friends and family to download the Mobfeed TV app available on Android and iOS. You can also catch it on Roku, Amazon, and Fire Stick, and Android TV as well. I'm your host, Joey Souza, and we'll see you next time. Movie TV? What the hell is that? <laughs>